I did a video yesterday which included our mate Pretty Patel and what she tends to do about the dinghy divers, you know, throws money at the French and we all know what we think about that. I won't repeat some of the things I read yesterday. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, I might have the police turning up saying that I caused anxiety for somebody. Well, there you go. Anyway, speaking of police, her next job, of course, she's had a cosy little chat stroke meeting with the new incoming Metropolitan Police Commissioner to discuss what they're going to do in the next 100 days. Oh, really? How do everybody welcome back to the channel for a Tuesday? Hope you're doing all right. I'm not too bad, not too bad myself. Let me know how you're doing in the comments below. I just want to thank you for all your uh, subscriptions, your comments, and all your contributions to the channel. Everything's great. Well, let's talk about London, shall we? Well, the incoming head of the uh, Metropolitan Police force sir mark rowley apparently is going to sort out all the trouble that we've got and he's in a meeting with pretty patel over what's going to happen in the next 100 days well the met is in a complete mess isn't it you you've got so much bad press uh, regarding various matters i mean you've got officers which are carrying out actions of the utmost stupidity uh, it's probably not mutually exclusive to the Met, it's all over the place, but it puts a bad light on them and also the reputation of the police force. And, you know, Wayne Cousins, let's, let's go there as well, what happened. How are people supposed to trust our police service in this country? Obviously, we're talking in this case about the Met. But what Pretty Patel's uh, said, she's uh, had a meeting uh, or having a meeting with him to discuss the first 100 days. And it appears that she's emphasised the need for fundamental reform. OK, I'll give you that, uh, to help restore public confidence in the force. Now, what concerns me here is what she says is uh, fundamental reform. Is that all this racist inequality, let's say, uh, all this stuff that Sadiq Khan comes out with on a regular basis? Or is it actual proper reform allowing proper, decently trained, recruited, honest officers out on the street to do the job and enforce the law and therefore restore public confidence? Is that right? Uh, you know, and she she's also stressing the importance of restoring integrity in the police force, which is obviously important, and the idea of policing by consent. Now, anybody that's not sure what that means is they police because we allow them to. Consent is the very important thing. And if we start, you know, not agreeing with or having problems with this concept, although, you know, like the video I did earlier about that army veteran that got nicked for saying something that caused somebody anxiety online, we do have problems. Uh, she's apparently told the new commissioner that police officers who are damaging the trust of the British public and tarnishing the hard work of the majority need to know that their behaviour will no longer be tolerated and accepted. I'm assuming they'll be out on their ear roll and they discussed in them what will happen over the next hun 100 days. So that's a good three months or so. The Home Secretary said that central to the Metro reforms, uh, moves need to be taken to reduce neighbourhood crime and deliver on the beating crime plan. What the fuck's the beating crime plan? At the end of the day, let's just strip back to basics, even if you have to go back as far as the Ten Commandments and enforce the laws that are there, and you will find that with the right officers, we can clear all this lot up. But I do wonder, in London's case, is it too far gone already? You let me know in the comments below what you think of all this. I'm not convinced, to be honest. I think it's just another person put in place and we're going to get about as far as we did with the last one. Bless you, Cressida, but you have now gone. And speaking of that, so am I. Toodaloo.